Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a new routine or foundation routine that I've, I've actually been really liking so far. So these past few weeks, I've been so lazy when it comes to doing my makeup, especially during the week when I'm gonna go like run some errands or I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Well, I guess that falls into running errands, right? <laughs> Um, and I've been like, um, I don't want to look super dead, but then again, I don't want to look, you know, super plain, like looking like I just woke up. Like I want a little bit of coverage, but I want my face to look really pretty at the same time. Like I actually made an effort to get ready. <laughs> um, so I've been loving you guys using powder foundation. Now I love liquid foundation. I'm a full coverage kind of girl. There's times where I like to wear a more luminous foundation, depending on what the look that I'm going for. I wanted to show you guys the routine that I've been actually doing and that has actually worked for me and I absolutely am in love. Um, so, but first, before we do get into the video, if you are new, hi, my name is Sandy Harkin and welcome to my beauty space. I absolutely love makeup, love my dogs and I love my family. So welcome to my channel. Um, if you are not subscribed, please hit that little subscribe button which there's also a little notification bell if you click that it's gonna notify you every time that I do upload a new video and you can be the first ones to watch it and also you guys comment down below let me know if you use powder foundation let me know which ones have been your favorites because I want to venture out to something new I've been using the Mac studio fix um, powders for years now um, and I absolutely love them um, so but comment down below let me know which ones do you guys love um, so I can definitely check them out. So without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so I went ahead and already did my skincare. I feel like because since I'm using powder, I want my skin to also feel very pretty, very fresh and clean, of course. I'm um, sorry, my little pelitos are like crazy. Um, someone told me that my hair like this or like little, when I take out my little hairs like this, I look like the Who characters from Dr. Seuss, right? <laughs> I'm like, but it's okay though. I like my little um, who hairstyle. Okay, so first things first is I like to apply a moisturizer to my skin because we are going to go in with a powder foundation. It deals with powders, so I feel like sometimes it can grab onto your dry patches very well. Um, so at this point, it's really good to actually moisturize. And what I've been loving, you guys, is this Pons um, Clarent B3 Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer. This step, you guys, also has SPF of 30. I have been telling um, my friends and my mom, too, that I kind of want to start taking care of my skin, especially with um, dark spots that sometimes go onto your skin if you don't take care of it from the sun. Um, but I've been loving this one from Pons. This was sent to me, um, but honestly, I really do like it. I'll sometimes even just wear this when I go out to go run groceries, do my eyebrows and add some mascara and a balm, and I'm good to go because this claims to even your skin tone. Um, I feel like it kind of does. It doesn't hide my redness at all or like blemishes, um, but it does give me a little bit of a color. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto my skin. I just like to place it everywhere and it moisturizes my skin at the same time. But since I'm only wearing powder, I really wanna take care of the lower layer, which is my bare skin. So I like to put this on top, but I really like it. Um, next, you guys, I'm going to go in with the eye cream and I'm going to go into my Origins um, eye cream. I'm almost out, but I love this stuff so much. You can find this at Sephora. Um, and I only take just a little bit like this and I'm going to go ahead and just apply it underneath my eyes. Now, the reason why I am going with the eye cream, well, I always do when I do my skincare, but for this mainly because we're going to be using powders, I really want this area to be very moisturized. And then for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize them with my MAC lip conditioner. Um, when I used to work for MAC, I used to sell these like crazy because literally it is the best. I love this stuff. So for a primer today, I'm going to go into my CoverGirl Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition Primer. You know that I absolutely love this primer. I'm almost out of it, but it's really good. I feel like my makeup really does last a long time when I do wear this primer. And it's in a lotion. So I like lotion-based primers versus silicone. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply this right here to hide my pores. Ooh, my skin is feeling fresh and prepped and ready to roll. <laughs> 
Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna go into my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Conditioner. Conditioner, oh my God. Concealer, and I'm using Ivory, um, shade 330, which is Ivory. And I'm gonna go ahead and just place it underneath my eyes right here, you guys, just a little bit, because I do have a little bit of darkness or blue undertones, and I don't want this to peek through when I do apply my powder foundation. And I just wanna add it in areas where you feel like you need a little bit more of coverage. So like, what is it called? Spotting spot conceal. Just a little bit on the areas that you feel like you need it. And then I'll take a damped beauty sponge and I'll just start to blend my concealer. So you always wanna do your liquids first and then you can do the rest. Okay, so I'm looking very bright. <laughs> And then for my powder foundation, again, I'm going into my MAC Studio Fix, and I'm using NC20. Now, you can definitely use this to apply it, but I like to use a brush, and the brush that I'm going to in, the brush that I'm going to be using today is my Sigma Angled Kabuki, the F84. Absolutely love this brush. If you guys want some money off, use code Sandy at checkout, and you get 10% off. <laughs> um, and I will link the link down below for you guys. So what I do is I just go ahead and go like this. And then I start to just press it into the skin and then I just start to build it up and just pat, 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 pat. So as you guys can see already, it's giving me coverage. Now it's not completely full coverage, but you, it's definitely buildable and you can build it up. So that's why, like I mentioned, it's really important to moisturize because it can feel a little dry. All right, you guys, so what do you think? I feel like it provided very, very good coverage and I don't feel super cakey or heavy and it just feels like I have a very light layer of foundation, but it still covered my redness. I mean, not like completely like foundation normally does, but it's something that I can definitely still walk out the door and feel comfortable and confident in myself with my skin. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just bronze my skin up to get me some more color. I'm gonna go into, of course, my cover effects this is their Perfector Face Palette in the shade Light Medium. And I'm going to go into this color, which is just contour. And I'm going to go ahead and start to bronze up my skin. And then for blush, you guys, I'm going to go into the Alamad Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. I'm going to go into this light peachy shade called um, Seclusion. And I actually got this in my BoxyCharm this month. And I'm going to go ahead and use that. And then I'm going into my Sigma Powder F10 brush. Love this to apply my blush. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my eyebrows and then my eyeshadow off camera, and I'll be right back. And that is it for today's tutorial using MAC Studio Fix Powder um, or just powder foundation. Um, what are you guys' thoughts? What do you guys think that how this looks on me? I honestly am really in love with powder foundation, like I mentioned a little bit before. Um, I just feel like I really like the way that my skin feels. It feels very fresh. It feels very airy, and it also feels like I'm, I don't have like a lot of makeup going on. Sometimes I feel like liquid foundations can feel kind of like sticky um, and with powder foundation I've noticed that it doesn't feel that way um, it really feels like I'm rocking my own skin people who do have dry skin could definitely wear this too um, just keep in mind that if you are super dry just make sure you apply a nice um, moisturizing um, cream moisturizer <laughs> And some illuminating drops as well mix it into your moisturizer put it on and then also go in with the powder foundation if you don't like liquid um so hopefully these tips um helped you guys um leave some comments in the comments if you guys have any questions i will feel you know i'll try my best to answer those for you anyways besitos and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye